All right, a nice win today at LSU in Baton Rouge. Uh, some good, solid swims, especially after a six and a half hour bus ride. Lisa Bratton actually broke two school records in the 100 and the 200 back, which is pretty neat. We had some other good, solid swims, so I was very, very pleased. But I've been in a little bit of a two back slump in the past couple meets, so it was good to just come out here and just lay one down at our last dual meet and just get ready for SECs and NCAAs coming up. There's been generations of Aggies that have come to Baton Rouge to swim here. And so it was their turn today to hop up and prove that we're a better team. Um, it wasn't pretty in places. You know, LSU hopped on us pretty early. Our guys came around. Uh, I think probably one of the turning points in the meet for me, Anthony Kim winning the 100 back. Anthony knew he had to win it, and uh, I don't think he was winning to the last stroke he took. But that, that was a big win, kind of got his back rolling again from there. Uh, Brock Benetti uh, doing what he does in the Turner Fly, I thought was a really good swim. Good experience for him to do it. Uh, breast strokers today, we didn't have Morrow in the tuner press. And he, he's been, you know, he usually wins every tuner press in a dual meet we've ever done while he's here. Put him in the 100 Fly instead, he, gets, he wins the 100 Fly. You know, diving-wise, between us and LSU, some great divers here going on. So we knew that was going to be tight. You know, we lost the first board. Sam winning the second one, I'm sure that was a great contest they had. We pulled through together up until the last relay with Raiz. So that was, that was like, super good uh, with the coaches, like, believing in us, like, the team's uh, mood has improved. We all like believe in each other, and if we just keep up the hard work, then there's no doubt that we'll go really far as the seas.